What is going on guys? It is a fine, fine, super fine day here in Southwest PA. And in today's episode, we get to demo Triumph's brand new Speed 400. This is a brand new motorcycle that they just released. So I'm super excited to ride it. But before we get to ride it, I do want to give a huge shout out to Mercedes Motorsports for organizing this event. Without them doing that, this video and a bunch of other videos wouldn't be possible. So be sure to go check them out link in the description they are a great company they don't just sell a bunch of bikes they sell side-by-sides quads sea dues and other watercraft uh, vehicles they have a huge service parts if they don't have what you need I'm sure they can order it and get it for you they have all kinds of apparel including riding jackets and helmets and stuff like that and brand new showrooms specifically for specific motorcycle brands and they just opened up another brand new store again link in the description super proud thank you guys so much for helping us out with this video and before we get started with this ride i do want to give just a very quick rundown of this motorcycle so this is a 2024 speed triumph 400 it is their brand new motorcycle that they just released it is a 398 cc bike it puts out 39 and a half horsepower at 8,000 rpms 27.7 foot pounds of torque at 6.5 thousand rpms it comes in at 375 pounds wet with a tank size of 3.4 uh, gallons or 13 liters for literally everybody else on the planet uh, the wheels the front is 17 inch by 3 inch the rear is 17 by 4 so the rear tire same size just a little bit wider front brakes we have a 300 millimeter fixed disc brake four piston radial caliper and the rear brakes are a 230 fixed disc floating caliper uh, it has a beautiful display that has a uh, integrated lcd system so it uh, is a very nice bike and actually it also has a preload adjustment which is really interesting for such a uh, very cheap bike msrp on this thing comes at just under five thousand dollars which makes this thing incredibly attractive to a lot of people if you want to see a more in-depth video of this be sure to like share and subscribe because we are going to do an in-depth video of this bike and a bunch of other bikes we're going to get to see so let's get into the first ride video super quiet so this is a super light bike it comes in at like I don't know it's like 375 pounds so very light I think it's a little bit lighter than the um, than the ninja 650 oh this is totally totally weird standing on sitting on it so I can pretty much uh, flat foot it I can't completely flat foot it I'm kind of on my tippy toes but you can really tell that this is a light bike it's very well balanced um, ergonomics is pretty pretty much upright pretty much like the ninja I can feel that I'm a little bit more upright it's kind of set back on it but I mean it sounds like a 400 it's a uh, it's a single single cylinder engine which is pretty interesting I've, I've ridden parallel twins but this is a single cylinder engine I think it's uh, what is it a 27.7 uh, foot pounds of torque at like 8,000 RPMs and um, it's like 39 and a half horsepower at like 6,000 or maybe I got this reversed I'll I'll post up in the description but as soon as we can uh, get everything going I have some lights on we uh, we'll see what what's going on I can see everything in my mirrors mirrors look great it's a uh, Ooh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I think we uh, I think we're gonna start going Pretty uh, pretty anxious it the seat feels um, extra wide um, On my legs like my legs feel like they are a little bit more spread out than usual Or rather than what I'm used to um, So that's that's definitely a different uh, a different feel and I'm gonna try I'm gonna try really hard not to be biased towards the ninja 650 and keep this as just an open review but my viewers you guys know that I ride a ninja 650 so that's kind of why I want to do a little bit of compare and contrast so the people who uh, who ride my uh, who watch my channel they kind of uh, 
they kind of know uh, where I'm at. We good? Let's go. Yeah, the bike definitely feels um, a lot more upright than the Ninja 650. Like I can tell that the handlebars are up and back, if that makes any sense. Um, Got to get used to a little bit of tiptoe. Another thing that I'm really kind of nervous about is not only is it um, wet outside, um, these this is a brand new bike and when I mean brand new bike I mean it's got three miles on it so the tires have three miles on it so it's gonna have that slippery coat so I got to be a lot more um, a lot more careful Ugh. but yeah uh, <laughs> brand new bike guys new bike that I'm riding clutch feels good I didn't have any problems starting or stopping um, I do got to get used to the ergonomics a little bit just because of how extra upright I feel but uh yeah not too bad I am excited yes <laughs> uh, so if I don't talk too much um that's that's just because uh I'm trying to get the feel of everything but uh yeah Triumph 400 guys uh, it is Triumph's it's, it's Triumph's attempt to really make an affordable motorcycle. Starting an MSRP on this bike is like four nine, which is really really nice because if you are a beginner rider, you really don't want to be spending a lot a lot of money on your first bike just because you know unfortunately things can happen and things do happen. So uh, having a really, really nice bike that so far seems well put together. I mean, I'm going to know a lot more whenever I get, you know, on the bike, on the bike. But first impressions, I, I do like it. It is, it, is, um, it is lighter. It definitely feels lighter than my 650. Well, it is, it is lighter than my 650. I think it is heavier than a 400, or a 400 though. But... Um, the thing I got to get used to is like how low the gas tank is because I'm like not sitting up on it. It revs out pretty high, which I figured it would because it, it's it's a very small uh, it's a very small engine. One thing I will notice, and this is insane, that I've uh, picked it up immediately and exactly why I went with a 650 over a naked bike and again I'm really really sorry I'm not trying to compare this bike to a 650 it's just all I have to go on but a naked bike with all this wind really is uh, next level it's it's it feels totally totally different because uh, I can feel all of that wind so whenever I get to these higher uh, get to these higher speeds I'm really gonna feel it pushing back on me uh, the seat is comfortable, but I it, it makes me feel very vulnerable because there's no like lip on the tail So it almost feels like I would fly off of it Obviously, I'm not gonna fly off this bike because it's not a powerful motorcycle in that aspect or whatever but uh, it's um it, it's it's a little weird I, I'm used to being hugged a little bit better as well as like the RPMs uh, you got to get them pretty high it goes up to 1200 12,000 RPMs and just cruising and forth I'm already like around five or six thousand RPMs or whatever uh, mirror should be a little bit better they just need to adjust it that's on me but yeah guys what a what a nice little bike to ride if you're in the market for a, a a nice affordable cheaper motorcycle that you can kind of kind of take around this this might be the bike for you now here here's the thing i i, I read a bunch of reviews on it so i'm going to try and you know not put down the motorcycle at all but because of it being a uh a, such a low cc bike it um it, it it's 
probably not the best for like interstates. Can you do it? Probably. But the fact that it's got, you know, 39 and a half horses, like at 8,000 RPMs and your torque is, what is it? 47 or uh, 37 7 or 27 7 I'm sorry I'll, I'll put the stats up it's uh it, it's it's not very uh, torquey as far as like uh, interstates but like small driving like I don't have a problem getting up to speed really quickly like it's all the powers there for like these uh kind of roads here and backcountry roads that we're gonna be going on um, it's pretty nimble I like it I don't hate this bike. It's my first time riding something like this. And this is also my first uh, attempt at something like this. So I'm sorry if it's, if it's not all that. I know it's a, it, it is also a ride by wire. So it's, um, it's very responsive. There's not a lot of, um, there's not a lot of, uh, a, a play like with my 650 I would have a little bit of play here it's pretty much immediately uh, throttle response so that's pretty interesting and that's something I'm definitely not entirely used to I think I already put more miles on this bike than it originally had so if you buy this bike we broke this bike in neutral is really easy to find Oops, I said 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 it too soon, but neutral was super easy to find, no issues. And again, no issues with um, no issues with uh, the clutch or finding a gear or anything like that. Super responsive and uh, very easy, very easy to get into gears if you are a, a new rider. But yeah, wow, that wind, just that little bit of wind like that, is uh. Is pretty insane. I, I can't imagine like riding like a, a naked naked bike like like cloudy biker you and that uh, SV650 flying down the highway like an animal you are. That's got to feel insane. Like that's got to feel insane. Oh my gosh. Hell yeah ma'am. Hell yeah. This is awesome. I'm I was pretty nervous. I'm still pretty nervous. But uh just what we can do brakes are pretty good brakes are are pretty uh pretty responsive everything's also like in the break-in period too so i gotta be like extra freaking careful but yeah i just had to kind of slow down a little bit there okay separated from a little bit It's crazy how like fast it gets up in the uh, up in the RPMs. This little this little engine, the little engine that could. Yeah, what a fun little bike. Oh, that's a bump. That's a bump. That's a bump. And I'm happy that there's probably not going to be uh, very much roads that I have never been on. Uh, maybe, maybe not. But that makes me feel a little bit better. I'm starting to calm down a little bit too but yeah really nice bike tank sits down super low i'm hugging it my knees are hugging it my legs are nice and tight against the bike uh, my shoulders are nice and relaxed i don't feel any any type of way like this bike can get away from me obviously and i know you guys are like well no shit but you know if you're like a brand new rider uh that's gonna be something you're gonna want uh probably want to be a little cognizant of yep nice turn signals are nice they're easy to get to everything's easy to get to as it should on such a uh, a nice beginner bike as this I want to make sure that I'm not inside this guy because there's a lot of a lot more going on whenever you're uh, riding in a group like this I am happy that I went with this bike. That was as my uh, first demo bike. This is like the third motorcycle I've ever been on. So, very nice. 
I'm also going to be trying to get better as far as uh, with these, how to speak in these. But the clutch is nice. Uh, everything is in reach. Uh, it's got a nice pull. It's not hard to pull the clutch or engage the clutch system. Gears switch out very easily. Uh, it's, 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 it's a very, very easy motorcycle to just get on and ride. So if you're in the market for like uh, just a nice cheaper bike and you're kind of wanting to just kind of go around town and things like that, this, uh, this is a, a definite viable option. The tank is, uh, it's, uh, what is it? It's 3.4 or it's like 3.8 gallons, 13 liters to uh, everybody else in the universe. Uh, so it's definitely got the the tank space and with such a low engine. I'm a uh, lower CC engine I'm sure that it also has a decent amount of range with it as well Yeah, the throttles not choppy at all That's one of the things I'm kind of uh, not nervous about but just cognizant about whenever I uh, whenever I'm doing all this uh, the 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 display is nice it's an analog it's very old school um, it's probably how it's supposed to be uh, European models they they kind of like that uh, that style it's easy to read I can see that I'm in fourth gear some things are probably a little bit harder to see um, like your uh, your tachometer and stuff like that but you're not really going to be staring at that anyway so it, it doesn't really matter too too much i have a plan i know exactly which routes we're going to be going on but it's 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 very nice to uh to see and you can indeed see everything it does got a little bit of horsepower though like for for the kind of riding realistically what you would be doing with this kind of bike yeah this is a uh, that, that's pretty torquey because let's be honest this is, this is not a touring bike this is something you're going to whip around around town like this but even that being said it's got the uh it's got the, the horsepower that you would probably need for these kind of riding conditions and kind of just overall riding situations really pleased with that really pleased with that am i really am i really pleased with that so we've been riding in the twisties a little bit and I must say the bike is uh, is very easy to to maneuver in these kind of uh, in these uh, tighter turns uh, obviously because it, it's 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 a very light bike but um, as a as a new rider so to say I'll consider myself a new rider it's it's not overpowering at all like there's nothing about this that is genuinely scary or anything like this we had a lot of rain so we have a lot of washout that we gotta pay attention for and even then like getting uh away into those uh kind of emergency maneuvers or all that it's easy the bike is so light and uh the ergonomics with like kind of how tall it is it makes it very easy to to shift your weight around like up top in the bike like it, you know what i mean like you can really feel yourself over top this machine. It winds out. It definitely winds out. I could definitely see myself whipping this thing. Uh, quicker than the speed limit it's nice i get a quit saying and I, I really apologize if you're watching like oh man this one sucks this is my very first attempt at like ever uh doing a first ride video and all that so uh it's like again like the third motorcycle i've ever been on so i'm doing my best hopefully it was uh, a very honest review for you guys but i will come back whenever something interesting happens more gravel oh no more gravel year on whip it whip it good da, 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 da. you can whip it man guys
guys, I am having an absolute blast riding this thing. I noticed that I typically typically keep it in uh, three and fourth gear, third and fourth gear. Uh, it's just really easy to to wind it up in those in those gears to to kind of get the most out of the torque. Um, one thing I will say that I really really like about this motorcycle is the mirrors. The mirrors do an excellent job. The mirrors do an excellent job of giving me full visibility from everything that's behind me as well as clarity. They're not vibrating. Um, they're, they're, they're really, really nice mirrors. Um, you're obviously not going to be really tucked down in. Uh, if you were, you would obviously lose visibility through the mirrors. But for the kind of riding and ergonomics that this motorcycle is set up for, these nice bar end mirrors are are nice as far as uh, how they work. How they look, I like them. I wouldn't mind seeing what they look like flipped under. I bet that'd be look all right. Starting in second gear, very nice. Still a very nice motorcycle. Yeah, I hope I didn't like cut that dude off. I kind of think that I did. But you gotta make executive decisions in life. But man, these Pennsylvania, oh, these roads are, Gorgeous. Holy crap. Smells good. Everything's nice about it. Yeah, like I said, you can kind of always chill in third gear, it seems like, because it's just a nice gear to sit back, wind it up, let the uh, let the um, the engine braking slow the bike down whenever you're coming into the turn. It's a very nice uh, sporty-like feel. It, it's, it's very almost sporty feel. Thing, uh, another thing that's pretty interesting about this bike, and I just found this out, is, and I'm not sure if it's designed like this, so I'm going to have to look over the bike whenever I park it, but it's almost like, you know, you put your the balls of your feet on the pegs, and there's almost like a spot for your heel, is what it feels like, because if I push it forward, I'm like, have my, uh, my feet, like, middle of my feet, which way we're we going, it's like the middle of my foot's on the peg, and that's not correct, but whenever I'm, um, ooh, we're going to start on the hill. We're going to see how hill starts are on this bike, but um, with, how, uh, with how this bike is, very easy. Hill starts, very easy on this bike, but, um, but with, with this, it almost feels like there is something, no, what is my foot? Is it on the exhaust? Maybe it's on the exhaust. And then the rear does seem like it has like a um, like a little uh, lip for the heel of your foot. I'm not sure. I could just be making that up. Uh, we'll double check whenever we get back. But yeah, that's kind of that's just another nuanced thing that I uh, that I uh, noticed on the motorcycle so far. Beautiful day. Wow, what a freaking gorgeous freaking day this is. All right, so we're back on the interstate, kind of opening it up. And again, the air on this is tremendous. And it's nothing to do with the bike. It's just the kind of bike that it is. It's it's just something that you're gonna, gonna have to get used to. Um, or just, you know, it's just what you like as, as far as that. Me, not so much, just because of how much riding I do and that I use my Ninja 650 as a, uh, like a touring bike. So, as far as like touring on this goes, mm, I don't know. Uh, it, just like the kind of power thing, it, it might not be good for interstates and stuff like that. Comfortability. I can't really say. I put 19, 18, 17, 16 miles on this bike. So it's not really like a lot to, to gauge gauge, but it's still very nice. Um, would I buy this bike personally? Um, I don't know. I guess I'm not going to get into that because I am very biased towards Kawasaki just because that's the first motorcycle that I bought and I will uh, like die with Kawasaki. I don't know. Maybe that's stupid. I'm very excited to ride different bikes though. I am very excited to to get to experience different motorcycles and uh, demo days are a great way to do that. So if you are in the market for a demo day, 
and you feel comfortable with it, you should definitely do it. Uh, this is a nice chill ride, nice chill environment. Nobody is being aggressive, which is usually why I don't like uh, group rides. Um, my last group ride, well, you guys didn't see the video because I never uploaded it. Yeah, I was very unhappy with that and swore off group rides forever, but you know, I guess uh, just overall experience on this bike, I like the bike. Uh, who are we waving at? Oh. I didn't know who we were waving at. That was confusing. Um, it, it, like general first impressions of this bike, I like it. Uh, very upright. Um, it's not vibrating. It, it actually seems a lot less vibrating than the parallel twins. Again, I come from a Ninja 650, so that's kind of what I'm comparing and contrasting. Nowhere near as vibrating as the 650. Like my feet are really, really comfortable. Uh, not only in just general position, but as far as um, as far as vibrations, I'm I'm not getting any weird numbing, tingly feelings in my hands or in my in my feet or anything like that. So I think it's a very nice beginner bike. It's it's very nice for multitudes of reasons. Um, the company is fairly reputable from my understanding. I don't know too much about Triumphs, but you know this is seems okay. Um, the comfortability on it is uh, is definitely nice. I I really really like it, and for the price point that this bike is, that's that's what makes it very approachable for so many people because it is a nice looking bike. It gets you into those. Uh, 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 I don't know, not cafe racers, that would be really lean forward, but just to these naked bikes. And uh, again, with like the price point and all that, it, it's very nice. And it's, it's fun too, because you can keep this thing in the twisties in third and fourth gear. And again, just wind it, wind that throttle down, get you, uh, you know, 50, 60 mile an hour in third, and then hit the, you know roll off the throttle let your engine brake and kind of swing you around and stuff so it's got the torque and it's got the horsepower to have fun on absolutely 100 percent so if you're in the market for a bike you want to play around on maybe just kind of very short commuting a city bike anything like that this is a this is a nice little option especially again for the price point you can't you can't beat that that's insane that is insane